you're into fun and you love to play. If you like funny jokes, it puts you away. If you like to dance to a slamming sound and you like having lots of friends around. And if you're one of those kids who lives by the rule that sad is bad and happy is cool. Ooh, little buddy, you're about to see you're in the very best place that you could be. Hey, it's Lamb Chops. Play along with kids. Come to play along in fun things and all. Squeeze it tight, really squeeze with all your might. Now the other arm, let me see just how strong you've grown to be. Make two muscles left and right. Come on and pump it up, out of sight. Hey, you're getting strong. Now let's go back to this song. Lamb chops, play along with kids. Come to play along in fun things of Especially you. A E I O U. Those are all vowels. But all I have is A A A A A. <laughs> it's a betcha. The betcha is can you think of a magical word that has five A's and no other vowel? You give up? You give up, Huxley? She gives up too. The magical word that has five A's and no other vowels is. Abra Cadabra! If ever you're at that and you can feel yourself begin to choke, just step out of the box, straighten your socks, and tell yourself a joke. How does a chicken mail a letter? How does a chicken mail a letter? I don't know. I give up. How about you? Do you give up? Give up. Okay, how does a chicken mail a ladder? In a envelope. In a envelope. I get it. <laughs> oh, that was good. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I was acting very home on the range, feeling my oats, enjoying the change. It was nice to finally be outside, roaming the fields, having a ride on my horse. Say it. My horse. Let me hear it. My horse. You got it. My horse. Of course. I led my horse back to the barn when a farmer came up to her and said, Oh darn, it's hard to milk you when you're not in your stall. Then I realized I wasn't on a horse at all. It was a horse a cow. Say it. A horse a cow. Let me hear it. A horse a cow. You got it. You get no milk from a horse, but you can, of course, from a horse a cow. Say it. A horse a cow. Let me hear it. A horse a cow. You got it. A horse a cow. Of course. Then the farmer's wife, with a basket in her hand, said, She lays the best eggs in the land. I stared at this egg laying milk given horse, then it all clicked in. What it was, of course, was a horse a cow chick. Say it. A horse a cow chick. Let me hear it. A horse a cow chick. From a horse, but you can, of course, from a horse a cow chick. Say it. A horse a cow chick, let me hear it. A horse a cow chick, you got it. A horse a cow chick, of course. Then the farmer and his wife said, Watch out, bud. So I moved, and this animal lay down in the mud. It oinked and it rolled in ecstasy as it slid in the slop. It dawned on me this was a horse a cow chick, a pig. Say it. A horse a cow chick, a pig, let me hear it. A horse a cow chick, a pig, you got it. A horse, but what it really was, of course, was a horse, a cow, chick, a pig. Say it. A horse, a cow, chick, a pig. Let's hear it. A horse, a cow, chick, a pig. You got it. A horse, a cow, chick, a pig. Of course. It was then that I noticed its great big snout, stubby fat legs, tiny ears sticking out. It went swimming in the jungle with a bird on its head. Came to me when I climbed into bed. This was a horse, a cow, chick, a pig, apotamus. Say it. A horse, a cow, chick, a pig, apotamus. Let me hear it. A horse, a cow, chick, a pig, apotamus. You got it. It's not a crocodile or even a rhinoceros. A horse, a cow, chick, a pig, apotamus. Say it. A horse, a cow, chick, a pig, apotamus. Let me hear it. A horse, a cow, chick, a pig, apotamus. You got it. A horse, a cow, chick, a pig, apotamus. Wow. 
Oh, morning, Hush Puppy. Oh, you're a little late. I've already taken the others to school. Yeah, I was just dragging my tail this morning. Oh. What's the matter, Hush? You look a little worried. Yeah, I'm past worried. I mean, I am mortified, horrified, terrified, oh. and southern fried. Well, you don't feel too good. I'm blue. Well, can I help you feel better? Yeah, sure. I'll loan you my sweatshirt and you can take my history test for me. D don't you think somebody might notice? Well, not if you sit in the back of the class. <laughs> oh, hush. History's not so bad. It's just remembering things. Ooh, that's my problem. I can't even remember what I had for breakfast this morning. Oh, well, uh, let's see. Uh, you had uh, eggs and bacon and uh, toast and jam and uh, milk and orange juice. Oh, that's fantastic. How do you know that? Uh, it's on your shirt. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, me. I don't know what I'm going to do. What am I going to do? I had trouble remembering important dates, you know, like, um, like, uh, what happened in the year 1321? That's easy. Well, what happened? Nothing. Oh, now that I can remember. Look, little buddy, it's always easy to remember a date if you make up a little rhyme. Yeah, what do you mean? Well, uh, do you remember who did something in 1492? It wasn't me. I swear, I wasn't even in town. No, 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 uh, hush. Christopher Columbus found America in 1492. You see, I didn't even know it was missing. It wasn't missing. He discovered it. Oh, oh, I see. Christopher Columbus discovered America. What was that year again? I can't remember. No, no, here's my memory trick. Yeah. <clears throat> now listen to this. I'm listening. In 1492, <laughs> Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Yeah. Well, that's it. He discovered America when he sailed the ocean blue. In 1492. Oh, no, that's I got right. It. Or how about this one? What? In 1861, the Civil War had just begun. In 1861. I got it with that's your memory right. trick. <laughs> I will never forget another date. Well, <laughs> speaking of dates, little buddy, yeah. I've got a date to pick you up at the end of the day. Can you remember what time? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I'll try to be here at a quarter to three, but if I forget, don't blame me. <laughs> <laughs> don't blame me. Don't blame me. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's a good one. <laughs> Have you met Nosy Rosie? Well, at least she used to be called Nosy Rosie. There's her forehead. And I'm going to make a dot. Now, she has no nose. So there's where the nose would have ended. There's her upper lip and her lower lip and her chin and her neck. I'm gonna give her cheeks and eye, one eye. And eyelashes, lots of eyelashes. Yes, lots of eyelashes. Oh, well, that's a little hair, sure. Why shouldn't she have a little hair? Oh, in a year, in a year. Okay, now, the one thing she needs, of course, is a nose. So, right at the spot where I've made the first dot, I'm gonna poke a hole. Ooh! Poke a nice hole with a pencil, and at the second dot, which is under the nose, or where the nose will be, is a second hole. This is a piece of wool. You knew that, didn't you? Did you know that I was going to make a knot at the end of the piece of wool, and then another knot on top of it, because you don't want the wool to come all the way through? I'm going to thread it from behind, but I hope that the knot will be big enough to grab and hold. Oh, you can do it. I did it. Okay. Now I'm going to put the other end through this hole. Go on, wool. Go on, wool. There. And I'm going to make another double knot so that it will tuck securely in the back and grab. Yes. And now Nosy Rosie has a nose. She can have a turned up nose, or she can have a turned down nose, or she can have a very turned down nose, or she could have a nose that wiggles. How's that? Do you like that one? Or she could have a small nose. You like that? Smaller? 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 Look like anybody you know? Or if you prefer, you could draw a picture of a boy and make it into Pinocchio with a nose that grows and grows and grows. Make 
a nosy rosy, and you'll find that you really enjoy pulling the wool over her nose. And I is a T who forgot his umbrella. Uh-oh. Hey, thanks. Nice day, huh? Playing throw. Throw? Throw. I never heard of throw. Well, it's just like catch, only you do it without the catching. <laughs> yeah, but how come you're playing alone? Freddy left. Oh, dear, I forgot. <laughs> you forgot. Your best friend moved away yesterday. Yeah. Oh, Charlie Horse. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Goodbye. So long. Sayonara. Arriba deche. Ciao. Who cares? Ch Charlie Horse, I'm terribly sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I really am. But, but you know, darling, there are other people to play with. Yeah, but it's, it's not the same. Freddie and me, we have history together. I mean, we go way back. I'm talking two, three years. That long, huh? Yeah, you get to know a kid, you become best friends, and then whammo, bango, fizzo. <laughs> I'm sorry, whammo, bango, fizzo? Yeah. Just because his father doesn't want to drive 600 miles to work each day, he moves. Well, what about Hush Puppy? He didn't move. Yeah, why don't you play with Hush Puppy? Oh, Sherry, he's nice, you know, he's nice. I'll give you nice. But he's just a kid. I mean, Freddie and me, we were the same age. We like the same things. What things? Oh, you know, baseball, kite flying, baseball, swimming, baseball, hanging out. Baseball? Yeah. That, too. Uh-huh. Well, I wouldn't worry about it if I were you. What do you mean? Well, I am sure you'll make some new friends. Maybe, maybe not. But I think it's a good idea for me to get used to being alone. Well, there's nothing wrong with being alone. Don't be lonely. No need for that. You've got good company. Underneath your hat <laughs> Who knows you better than you do Who never tells you lies Who's closer than a cousin or uncles by the dozen And who else is just your size Don't be lonely when you're alone You're someone you never have to call on the phone Be sure, we'll stick around till you're grown. Ever loyal and true, no one will do just as well as good old you. I love to dance, I love to sing, but laughing is my favorite thing. If you are not the first to hear, a funny little boom can make my ear. Come on, Charlie, let's make my ear. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, licking an ice cream cone. Along came a spider who sat down beside her. She told him, go get your own. <laughs> it's a little hostile, but you know. Hey, it's your turn, Hush Puppy. <laughs> little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and goo. No, no, no. Her curds and whey. No, Charlie Horse. That's the way you tell it. This is my poem. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and goo. Along came a spider and sat down beside her. And Miss Muffet ate that, too. Blech, 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 blech. The happy smile you see on me did not happen magically. It's all because of, take my word, the funny little poem that I just heard. Rain scientist, no. Dog catcher, no. 
no, no, no. Um, electrician, I can't. Oh, that's shocking. Uh, hush, puppy? Oh, yes, yeah, Sherry. Are you reading the wand ads? Yeah, today I was fired. You were fired? Yeah, you know, Charlie has told me he no longer needs me as his best friend. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. And since being Charlie Horse's friend has been a full-time job, I need something to keep me busy. Oh, poor Hush. Well, ha have you thought of mowing the lawn? Then again, maybe I'll just take a nap. Oh, <laughs> oh hi, Lancha. Hi, Sherry. Hey, Hush Puppy. You wanna play catch with me? Oh, yes, Lancha. I'd love to play catch with you. Oh, that's not what I wanted to hear. What did you want to hear? No way, short stuff. Get out of here. Don't bother me. That doesn't sound like Hush Puppy. No way. That sounds like Charlie Horse. I know. But Charlie Horse hasn't been there at me all day. And I miss him. Well, where is Charlie Horse? This is worse than I thought. Where is he? He's over yonder near the elm tree. Uh, next to the rose bush. Uh, under the weeping willow. In the tent. The tent. The tent. Thank you very much. I see it. Knock, knock. Go away. Charlie Horse, is that you? What do you think say, go away? Charlie, close the door. Would you get out of there? Leave me alone. Charlie, close the door. Ch Charlie Horse, what are you doing in there? Reading. You're reading all alone? No, you're here too. Charlie, you know, you can't just stay in there and act like a hermit. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not a hermit, I'm a hemit. Or a hemit. <laughs> no, a hermit is somebody who lives and works and plays all by himself. That's me, I'm a hermit. I'm a hermit, because I'm not going to play with anybody else. Yeah, but Charlie was darling. What about your friends? Friends, friends. Who needs friends? You make a friend and he moves away. Charlie, you know, you can't live your life without anybody else. I mean, that's just no fun. Sure it is. I'll show you how it's done. Now, um, here's how you play hide and go seek. But Charlie Horse, it, Charlie, it takes two people to play hide and go seek. Not the way us hermits play. Watch. First, I cover my eyes. You see, Sherry? Yes. No peeking. <laughs> and then I count to ten to give myself a chance to go hide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> Never find me. Yep. I'm getting warmer. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> oh, and I got me. <laughs> I caught me, I caught me. Oh boy, I love this game. <laughs> well, if he's happy, I'm happy. I guess. Yeah, I'm the happiest hermit in town. And now for something uh, unusual. <laughs> oh, Mr. Hermit, are you in there? Yeah, uh, yeah, who wants to know? An old friend. I don't have any old friends. Oh, well, then I guess you don't want the cake and cookies. Now, wait a second, you don't let me finish. <laughs> That's what I thought. Hello, Charlie Horse. You're not an old friend. Oh, thank you very much. You're an old, 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 old friend. <laughs> thank you very much. Besides, I'll see you anytime, especially if you got cake and cookies. It's nice to be loved. Oh, oh, 
You got a postcard from a friend. Oh, it's from Freddy. He says he is coming to visit us. Oh, could Freddy stay at the house? Uh, you mean the tent? No, at the house. What happened to Charlie the Hermit? Oh, well, you know, I miss my home and my warm bed. <laughs> I'm moving back into the house. Wonderful, yeah. Besides, it's getting too crowded in this tent. What? Gee, it's fun being a hermit. Yeah, and Jolly Horse is only charging us 10 cents a day. Charlie Horse, you're not taking money from Lamb Chop and Hush Puppy, are you? Hey, us hermits gotta live, too. Oh. Hi, I'm one. Are you one, too? No way. I'm two. That's twice as good. Lamb Chop, uh, what is the matter with you? I haven't got anything to play with. <laughs> what do you mean, ha, ha, ha? Ha, ha, ha! What about all these toys? They're no fun. Why are they no fun? Because they don't do anything. Sit up. Sit up. Come on. What do you expect your toys to do? Well, my friend Courtney, she has a doll. You know Courtney? Yes, I know Courtney. She has a doll, and you put a battery in, and that doll walks and talks and eats and lets, and it kisses you. Now, that's what I call fun. Yeah, well, you know, when I was a little girl, I felt the same way. Oh, come on. What? You didn't have batteries when you were a little girl in the olden days. Yeah, I had batteries, and I had something else. What's that? I had my imagination. That's what I want for Christmas. What? Your imagination. Oh, what happened to your own? I think it needs a battery. No, 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 no. You happen to have a wonderful imagination. No, yes. Yes, I've seen you. You look at a big tree. Yeah. And you imagine that you're climbing up the tree. Yeah, yeah. And you're getting to the clouds at the top. Yeah, yeah. well, that's imagination. No, that's Jack and the Beanstalk. No, 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 darling. Your imagination, you know, your imagination is when you can look at one thing and see something else that it might be. Pretend, you know? Like what? Like what? Oh, okay. What is this? That's the glass from my milk. It's empty. I think it's empty. It's empty. Okay. Now, what is this? That's string from my yo-yo. Okay, a glass and string. And what is this? That's aluminum and aluminum silver foil stuff paper. Uh, okay. Now, do you know what I see in that? What? I can imagine that as a toy. One of us has a rotten imagination. <laughs> Here's how you can make this stuff into a very playable toy. You start with your aluminum and aluminum foil. And please ask your folks for some used foil. Wash it and recycle it as a toy. Take a piece of string and you put it in the middle of the foil. And then you crumple the foil into a really good ball. That's the toy? Now, that's not the toy. That's just, oh, it's stuck. It's great. That's just the beginning of the toy. Now, you poke a hole in the bottom of the cup with a pencil point. Ooh, there we go. You stick the other end of the string into the cup, and you make a very good knot. I mean, maybe two or three knots, one on top of another, so that your string won't slip out of the cup. Let's see if I've done it. I think I've done it. Yes! And that is your toy. I made one here that I've been playing with. I just love it. Now, you want to see, want to see it? Okay, I'll push back my chair. I'll get up, and I'll show you how to play with this toy. The aim of the game is to get the ball into the cup. Uh, uh, oh, I can do it, I can do it. Really, I can do it. And I'm going to do it now! I did it. You can do it, too. You'll have a ball. Here, Lamb Chop. I like it. And so you see, my darling, with a little imagination, you can make this plain, ordinary paper cup into almost anything you want. 
Wait a second, you mean you can make this plain ordinary paper cup into almost anything I want? Yeah, here. Make it into a doll with a battery. Oh, no. I like it, I like it, I like it. I have two little birds. You don't see them? Yes, you do. There they are. Here's Jack and here's Jill. You got two little birds? Can I see them? Yours are cute. I like them. Mine are on a hill. These are the hill. See the hill? And if you've got that, you can say, fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Want to play? Come on. There were two little birds sat on a hill. One named Jack, the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. There were two little birds sat on a hill. One named Jack, the other named Jill. Two little birds, and one of them said, Why don't we sing about five in a bed? There were five in a bed, and the little one said, Move over, move over. Well, they all rolled over, and one fell out. There were four in a bed, and the little one said, Move over, move over. Well, they all rolled over and one fell out. There were three in a bed and the little one said, Move over, move over. Well, they all rolled over and one fell out. There were two in a bed and the little one said, Move over, move over. Well, he rolled over and he fell out. There was one in the bed and the little one said, I'm lonesome. This is the song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. That's enough, guys. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that This is the song that... Charlie, horse! No, no, stop, stop, stop. Charlie, stop. I want you to go away. Go away. And don't slam the... Door. Funding for this program was provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you. This is PBS.